talking. Okay, so welcome everybody. So today is very challenging topic. So today we will work about shadow, our shadows. And the best way what I found to work with shadows is to see what we project to other people and what we see in other people and we ignore it in ourselves. This is the uh, easiest way to see our, uh, what we don't accept in ourselves. Like it's really easiest way to work with this. I had uh, several very profound um, experiences related to shadow work myself. Um, some of them were with uh, holotropic breath work, some of them were with uh, body work and with constellation work. Every time it's uh, uh, different and the same as well. The same is we see in other people what we reject to see in ourselves. So this is uh, what we will learn to do today and why we have to work with shadows. Shadow is always a great resource of energy. It's, uh, it's hiding some challenges, of course, but when we can accept it as it is without really be emotional about it, but see it as a fact and think what good could be out of it, you will be amazed how much treasure is hidden there. In the shadow corners of yours, there is a diamonds and rubies and emeralds of your skills and talents. And we just need to see them and take them as they are without all these uh, stories around it, all these emotions around it. Because we, mm, we need to be, we are who we are. And this is, uh, we have, each of us has different goals in life and we need all different skills to move forward. We have these different stories, what is appropriate, what is not, but it's not, uh, it's only our um, kind of um, grading and defining what is good and what is not. So today we will try to avoid any judgment and just observe what we can have and hopefully we will return to ourselves what uh, the best we can like the the really perfect uh, seed of any shadows that we are carrying on so we'll start with a, as always with a simple exercise two minutes but before we start i want you to pick any person or any creature, it could be not a human, it could be animal, that you have a great challenges toward them, like, um, or you cannot accept some of their, their qualities, something that really gives you sh shiverings and like, no, it's like how people can exist and like this and something uh, very emotional you become around those creatures. It could be uh, people, as I said, or animals or insects, or maybe um, something that is not even alive. It's uh, some, uh, I, I've seen that people worked about uh, dirtiness or internet. So it could be very unique, um, subject for you. So I want you just uh, take a moment and think who or what you want to look at. Who or what makes you very emotional. And just make your mind. It could be collective um, subject. Like uh, if you don't have any particular person, it could be several qualities just together. But um, I would really advise you to see if you can pick a person. It's um, usually somebody that's very close to you. 
uh, your friend, your boss, uh, manager, or somebody else. So, so just pick one. And I need to. I did. I did already just <laughs> just recently. So I need to have a minute to think who I want to pick. Okay, and I will set up timer for two minutes and we will write all qualities of this person, all qualities, good and bad, whatever you see in this creature of yours. So two minutes, are we ready? Does everybody have a, such, such a friend or frenemy or whatever it is. So two minutes and we write qualities of this creature. Let's go. We still have about one minute. Okay, so what I uh, want you to do, just to see, uh, do you have, what kind of qualities you have, uh, good or bad more? So do we have positive qualities more or negative uh, qualities? Negative. More? Negative, because we're working with shadow. <laughs> but do we have any positive qualities? One. <laughs> Good. There is at least one. So when I did the first time uh, class, I did with the Russian group and I was surprised that there was no good qualities. And I work with a person that I know well and, it's a, and I was surprised how I was focused on negative. Even there is a lot of positive qualities in that person as well. So uh, I, now, noticed, I noticed some positive ones. It was probably a mixture. Okay, good. So now, the real challenge. <laughs> Do you dare? Uh, so I want you to say out loud or maybe quietly for yourself, uh, if you have some people around you. But before a, a, each quality, say I. And you just keep saying I such and such, I such and such, I such and such, and see how emotional you could be about it and see how truthful it is about you. It could be completely different scale, completely different scale, uh, but there is something inside of you that can be resonated with this. 
see if anything really does not belongs to this list or maybe you're just afraid to accept it. So what I notice is that I uh, may behave like this when I'm not, uh, when I'm um, like wounded or depressed when, when I'm not in a good state. So when you are not in the resources, like when you yeah. don't, when you are weak, you start behaving like this. Yes, this is a very interesting, and that's why it's very important to to see positive about it because uh, you acting like this to survive. You don't have energy to do anything else, and you just start reacting to the world. So thank you for sharing. It's very important. Let's me write, ma'am. I have. Um, I'm like interesting. Like twice I wrote that this. I, I'm not working with the person. I work with a creature today, and it's twice I wrote that it's a beautiful. So <laughs> it's the only pleasure I have to saying I beautiful. Okay, but it's everything is about me. Um, so now, next, I'm switching camera and we will, if you have any comments, please share and I will show you what we are going to do with this scary list that we created and how we can transform it in a positive resources. Okay, let me make sure that it's mirrored. I don't forget. Okay, so we have, I have my list. So on the list or uh, on your paper, I invite you to draw a circle that will represent you anywhere on the, uh, on the piece of paper and any size you want. So I usually write myself in the middle. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm quite big on this paper. And you may sign what it is. Like you can sign I. So you don't rem forget about it. And now you start uh, drawing shapes for what uh, qualities you have on your paper. They can be any shape. They can be triangles. They can be some uh, spots. They can like petal. They can be squares. They can be any sharp shapes. And you just uh, write them down. What is this one? So this is a danger. This is a hypnotic. This is a... Just to clarify, for every quality, so if you wrote for, down 30 qualities? So if you have 30, so some of them could be uh, just synonyms for the same, you can group them. Oh, okay. So, but pick what are the most important, what you, which one you got very emotional about them. Okay. Anna, can those figures um, overlap on your yes. circle? Yes, they can. But notice which one is overlapping. So this could be, they can be circles as well. So any shapes, any location. So you uh, draw as many as you want. So this will be some. Um, sketch right now, but we will, I promise, 
it will be different. So I'll show you how it's at the end it will look so you don't really get. So this is my first, uh, was my drawing about shadows that I've done a week ago. So. You don't have any of them overlapping with your eye? Should you allow them to overlap with your eye? Or yes, you yes. Circle eye? Yes, you can overlap them, but pay attention which one is overlapping. No, on your eye circle. So you have your middle circle as right, I, I don't feel like I want right now, but I will connect them anyway. But you're not overlap, but someone may it's want a, to it's overlap. A just, it's a just uh, me right now, but on another one, there was some overlapping. So... So you can, if, if you feel like yours wants to be overlapped with I, feel free to do it. So it should not be exactly be like mine. So it's any shapes anywhere. So maybe yours will be somewhere here and it's okay. And I just have to name it. And this is, a, Okay, and if you want anything else, you can add it uh, later. So now, so we have this very different shapes. Some of them are spiky, some of them has corners and aggression inside of them. Some of them just does not have any form at all. So what I want, I want in each shape, to find in each quality to find something good that helps you to move forward, to, to survive you, or maybe to be a better person. Because of this uh, not positive uh, uh, qualities. So for example, so this one was that, um, the creature is changing constantly so that it's a uh, changing and it's hard to really mm, see the shape and it was already interesting how I started to draw it. So what I want, I want to draw a circle inside of this shape, perfect shape, so perfect circle and name it what it is uh, what good quality that I adaptive. I adaptive. So I want you to understand that uh, now we're working with ourselves. We don't work with the creature or with the pe person you uh, named first. We the person we use just as a mirror to see ourselves, to see our shadow, to see our reflection. But now this is all about you, not about them. So, and when I say like, okay, so this uh, quality that I put it, that's changing constantly. So I found the positive that it's adaptive. So this, uh, my creature is a snake. So this is like slithery. So when I draw a circle inside and I, name a positive way and a positive will be that the positive is actually is that nothing really stuck to the snake. So I write it down so you um, just for myself if you don't feel like you want to keep notes don't do it. So it's uh, just uh, as a help. I have a question. Yes. Um, it feels to me that I want to uh, 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 draw circles around my shapes, not in the shapes, but around the triangle, not inside. Like. Uh, so there. Uh, uh, here so, and here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that like, for example, you have a triangle and you yeah, want to and, draw yeah. circles. So yeah. uh, pay attention. But not like, everywhere. 
Yeah, okay. Not everywhere. So Not sometimes, everywhere. Yeah. so sometimes when we have something uh, dangerous for you, mm -hmm. you might be trying to write and draw like uh, isolation, like you want to yeah. isolate it. Mm -hmm. you, if if it's really like big urge to do it, you can do it. But I still mm -hmm. invite you to draw a circle inside of the triangle and see what goodness can come from this danger. Got it. Okay. Very because, interesting. So yeah. because when we have this, for example, when we have a triangle, and this is mm -hmm. a the thing uh, qualities that we do not accept. Let's say anger. Mm -hmm. So, and mm -hmm. we find something positive in it, for that anger we need to move forward in business, in sport, or just even defend ourselves. The rest of the shape that does not belong to this good quality mm -hmm. is, a sh is, a, is a shadow itself. There is a goodness, but there is a shadow. Yeah. So what I shadow. want you, like you don't have to, uh, uh, make it darker. This is I just want to show you how it works. The rest mm -hmm. we will uh, Next step we will learn how to dissolve all the shadows and let them go But keep the goodness keep the core mm -hmm. of this quality mm -hmm. so, Definitely I feel isolation around one of these things, but I'm gonna stay a little bit more with the feeling and see Yeah, yes but Thank like you. if it's too dangerous for you, like isolate it, make it like contain it and move sure. forward from that point. So if it's uh, overwhelming for you. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, and you do it the same for each uh, things. Like if you have already, uh, for example, like I draw already a circle that this creature is quite beautiful i can keep it as it is because i think that it's a positive or if you have this uh, different shapes you will find something that uh, you you want to find the goodness in it something that really could be positive about it and one more thing that I wanted to show you, this is just a recent uh, lecture was from Pavel Piskarev, so this idea. So his idea was that, for example, when we have this shape, for example, triangle, this is how we, how much we aware of this, uh, uh, our consciousness, it's how much we aware. The rest is a shadow. The rest is a we, something is hidden from us. We need to really increase our consciousness to this side to be able to see all the corners. So you really have to expand a lot to make sure that you see even more. And of course, there will be another shape I don't know why I did the triangle, but it's okay. That will have uh, creating new shadows. And the more you're working and the more you're moving forward, the more corners you will have. He actually did it with squares. I don't know. This is actually look like an um, uh, eye of uh, eye. And eye is usually represents God. So. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So we need to constantly see what's the goodness and what's the hidden corners. And we expand uh, a lot to see and accept the corners. So to express the light to the corners as well. But this is a little bit, we're going too ahead. So dangerous, dangerous. Mm -hmm. So we, if you have difficulty to find goodness in your qualities, you and you feel comfortable to share it with us, let me know so we can talk about it and find what could be goodness out of this 
uh, qualities. Or if you don't see and like you don't want to share, you can just draw a circle. You just uh, accept the fact that goodness exists in this quality. You are don't name it yet, but there is a goodness there. So, and it will be, and it's actually much easier to do this way. If you just accept the fact that there is a goodness, sometimes you can name it, sometimes you are not aware of it yet, but it will appear at some point. I have other questions. So that circles have to touch the border of previous, um, the not, previous. Uh, not necessary, figure. not necessary. And sometimes you can have uh, one shape, may have two good small, uh, two small good qualities inside of it. And maybe three, they could be not big ones, but smaller ones. So you can just put them uh, this way. And if you feel like um, yours is, uh, like mine is uh, like it's touching one way, but mostly does not touch the rest of the shape. So no, you don't need to. The more shavings this, the, the more um, dark sides you will lose, the better. So you just uh, find, the, the goal is just find at least some goodness in it. And only you define the size of the goodness. Okay, so next step is we start connecting ourselves, I usually do it from the middle, to the goodness of each quality. And we connect with the narrow line and we go always beyond. And you can do it with one line or maybe several lines. And we always go beyond. And I ask, so I connect to the quality, but to the good side of this quality, to the uh, very precious and very supporting, uh, resourceful uh, side of it. And we keep moving and connect. Again, we do not really uh, affecting the person that was originally chosen but we're working with ourselves. Those are my qualities. It's me who are changing constantly or so uh, could be dangerous, it could be perpetrator. So I working with them and I accept them as they are mine, not somebody else. So I want it to be very clear so that we are working not with this, uh, horrible person or just a person or any creatures you working with yourself and i accept not just bad qualities like if you have any good ones make sure you put them here so i like really accepting the fact that i'm beautiful i'm not very modest <laughs> but it's not on the list And you don't need really to put every quality at the same time on one drawing. Don't try to resolve all your, like, all your issues on one drawing. Allow yourself accept and integrate as much as you can because you will have a lot of energy coming from this goodness. 
and energy could be overwhelming. So be very patient and be very gentle to yourself. So we don't try to uh, concur Everest here. So we want to accept the fact that I can be all these qualities. And if you have much more than you, uh, you want to work with them right now, this will be a point to do another drawing. So pay attention how your body reacts, what kind of emotion starts showing up. Okay, so do we, do you feel connected to the goodness or you still feel that you overwhelmed by those shapes, original ones? So I advise you all those original shapes that had uh, unusual shapes or maybe uh, triangles or squares, we'll try to dissolve them with narrow lines in this drawing so we just um, add more lines around them that they will be just uh, feeling um, there is no better word like dis like dissolving that you bringing so many lines that it's hard to notice any uh, original shapes around only circles you can even make them brighter to see better but the rest of these lines you can just add more narrow lines along them and dissolve them and when we start rounding everything everything will start um, look safer and looks uh, integrated so and you just start. So this is a very serious subject. Like I had a very interesting vision uh, when I did uh, holotropic breath work several years ago. And when we look at shadow, it really depends where you're standing. So if you stand too far, the shadow will grow. Like if you try to avoid it, if you try to uh, escape from it, the shadow is really growing. But if you try to suppress it, it's even worse. It will be so intense. And like if you hide it somewhere, like in your pocket, it will be like a, a bomb that can explode at any time. And when it's explodes, you have no control and it will affect not just you, but people around you. But when you stand at the right place, like next to it, you will see that it's not bigger than you are. It's really just a different side of you. There is no any big powers that we allowed to be. So I did a sketch and I'll see if like I need I will need your opinion because this is a really raw. It's my way to try to explain it. So if we have, for example, if we have this is the wall this is the light there is always light when we're talking about shadow something is light and if you're standing here the light is really the shadow will be growing proportionally and it's not just this side the shadow will actually grow this and this so it will be together like the far we look at the person and uh, and the wall is always a person that we project ourselves to others so the far they are the bigger shadow is if we try to get closer 
the shadow will become significantly smaller. You see? So when we try to be closer to people, understand them better, we really see much uh, less projection on them. So when we stay next to it, they will be the same size. But this is a very raw concept. So I still working on it. Maybe in next months it will be completely different. So don't take it as a, and if you have your own opinion about, please share with me. I will be happy. Any insights? When I was trying to make a line to, to, to go just uh, through the circles, I didn't want to touch any part of the other figure. <laughs> and so uh, if the circles were big enough and touching the, the sides of the figures, um, it was possible just to um, to draw a line where they touch and just go uh, the other way on the other side. But I realized that now that I have to dissolve them, I have to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> you really cannot clean the guard, like uh, clean the um, space without touching it. But yeah. it's not about don't get dirty, but how to clean yourself, how to really, to, um, to have this shyness in yourself so nothing really stuck to you. So this is a, a challenging because we always get somewhere that it's not clean and it's uh, about emotional hygiene and about uh, emotional, um, you don't really need to take it too deep. You can just let it go. Because if you are going to avoiding dirty place, you will not be able to really inspire them. And it's, we don't really, like when we talk about shadows, it's not really about the, um, When we go somewhere, which is dark places, you need to be bright enough to lighten up instead of really losing your light there. So it um, seems like a very big concept and like too dramatic, but it's, um, this is what it is actually. Like you have to be bright enough to go in dark places. And if you don't feel you want to go there, you don't need to. Bring a lantern with you. And what is a lantern for you? Like wh what is the source of light for you? Because when you try to avoid something, you're limiting yourself. You're limiting your own experiences. And I what uh, the goal of this exercise is really um, be free to choose. Like you avoiding it, not because you're afraid to do it, but because you're chosen. Because you feel like, no, I'm not ready for it, and it's okay. But uh, tomorrow, maybe I will go there and start working with this. So it's not necessary. You have to go uh, to the darkest places and experiences what everything needs to be experienced. But you will not be able to inspire the dark place as well if you are avoiding it, which could be like, illusion that you can inspire anything but it's um and it's could be a good thing that you're not really trying to go there so. and it looks like uh the resourceful uh if, if you're in your 
resourceful state. If I'm in my resourceful state, then I can go there and it's really not a big deal. Uh, but when you when you're at resourceful state, you have a choice to go or not to go. When you are not in resourceful state, you are just reacting to the situations, and this is the freedom. Like that, it's your conscious decision: do I want to do it or not? So this is. Um, but yes, it's a very important to feel strong at, before you go anywhere. Because uh, darkness could be very powerful, and we could be. So I want. That's why I'm like we accepting the goodness out of it. We don't accept the whole piece. We don't have to swallow the whole piece. We want to identify what I'm ready to accept and what I'm not. What I ready to live with and use it for my survival and use it for my development and what is not. So it's a very clear goal. Sorry, I interrupted you. And if you still feel overwhelmed with all these shapes, so we're trying to round and dissolve all these lines, uh, you may bring more good qualities. Something that you, you know that this person or this creature have consciously bring them not even if they did not appear during this two minutes exercise but you know there are good qualities and you want to mm, connect to them or maybe you want to add something that you really wishing this uh, yourself is having like what what do you want what do you need to to be at resourceful state. Because we are already working not even with the person, but we're working with ourselves. So you can uh, draw and so maybe I want I want more peace. And I can just, because I want to support myself. I want to feel not overwhelmed right now. I want to be strong enough to integrate the energy that we are working with right now, that I'm working with. So pay attention how your body is reacting. Does it does it react or maybe it's not? Just observe it. How do we breathe? Do we want to drink? Do we want to sleep? Do you any impatience or maybe there is a resistance to the the whole concept like no this is a stupid it's okay too so this is your reactions and it's okay so just observe them there is no bad reactions or good reactions there is only reactions and it's a so just notice notice what is going on in your body, in your emotional state, and keep, keep moving, keep dissolving this original shapes. 
and you will see how because of this uh, dissolving, because of this uh, so many lines that we are creating is really makes everything connected. There is so much new neurological connection in our brain that we're creating. All, uh, all this uh, rounding that we've done, creating new nexus just in our, not just in our drawing, but in our perception. And maybe, maybe, not necessary, you will notice that your reaction to the person is different. I cannot promise that person will change. This is not the goal. But your reaction that you are not so emotional anymore around that person, you are not really losing energy around that person because and you see it completely in different light. There is some like we, we have to look at it first, accept it as it is, and let it go sometimes. Because when we're avoiding something, when we're really ignoring something in ourselves, it will be, universe will keep to show it, to prove it to us. Like, no, keep notice, keep seeing it. And we're like, why, why all people start acting weird around me? But because you did not notice it for the first time or say that it doesn't matter or maybe uh, judge it too much. So it's matter and you just accept it as it is. I already like the way it looks. So um, like I practice a lot of neurographical, especially lately, like I draw a lot. And when you try to dissolve something, this is the best way to really create so many lines. Because other ways will be not, it's still be noticeable, it's still be foreign. And and we will do one more thing later, but it's uh, not one more, but we'll do like several things, but keep, keep rounding. And usually like I notice it by myself, like in my body reactions, but the more we're rounding, the less, the more relaxed body is. Like at the beginning, it could be such a resistance and such a pressure inside of your body that like, oh my gosh, how we can fix this mess. This is really, but when you keep moving, just keep rounding each corner at a time, body starts relaxing and energy starts moving. We really, it's a lot of blockages in our body related to these reactions. Yesterday we were practicing with friends of mine uh, some constellation work. And I've noticed that um, all my roles that I've been like, um, if you don't know the constellations, probably doesn't make much sense for it, but all the roles I've been, I've noticed only one thing, that there was no guilt. Somebody's tried to blame me, and I said, well, it is what it is, and keep moving. <laughs> so, and it's, it was such an energy saver. So it's like, really, 
when you try to bite yourself and judge yourself, there is so much energy depleting and it's uh, such an exhausting, uh, exhausting experience all the time. But when you have this freedom to accept as it is, it's really a lot of energies could be saved and you can focus on something different and more powerful. So I was like, hmm, it's interesting. Maybe it's because I worked on letting go of my guilt. This is a good indication. Did you do the constellation work online? Yes, we do. It really does not matter for uh, for any energy work that you do. It really does not matter the distance. You cannot physically hug person like, but you can do uh, emotionally hug them, and it will be the same uh, as powerful as it is. So. Yeah, and like we we work with the group it's a russian group of people and it's um very well trained <laughs> to do it but it's uh, even for the new ones it's still be a powerful experience but um i believe that we are already like even during the neurographic we are doing the same constellation work uh, we work with uh, acceptance, letting go some judgments, and we visualize what we want to work with. Like it's a very visual um, method. Yeah, there, right now, there are so many different methods that could be very helpful and healing. And you just need to find yours. I'm like, I'm a curious mind, so I'm always trying something new. Some work, some does not really work for me. And I just keep looking. I hope you are curious as well. And I believe that neurographica is just the beginning. So like, I know that it's a powerful, I know that it's a very helpful, but in you as um, people who practice it, it's just the beginning of your creativity show up. Like this is a, we're taking blockages and it's you decide where you want to go it's you who decide what you want to try new in your life or maybe creates completely new method so i'm like go ahead find create try experience Even when we find something beautiful, it's always there is a time when you try to change it, try to find, to create something new, go a little bit farther. It's a, don't limit yourself. Okay, so how is everyone doing?
I'm like talking, talking, but there is so much, so many lines today on my drawing. Yeah, lo lots of lines. <laughs> lots of lines. Yes, it's a challenge because um, it and every line brings energy. Every line brings thoughts and emotions. So that's why it's um, you may feel very energized after you finish this drawing. You probably will not finish it today. Maybe we will we will need some time. To keep rounding, but it's okay. I'm like I've done it before, so it's possible. And I want you to tell it like my first I was done about the person and I've seen that person after almost almost next day after I've done it. There was no emotional charge anymore. Like um, it, used, uh, it used to be like uh, every word it was uh, I was analyzing and like not judging, but somehow was um, affected. Maybe judging, maybe I'm just lying to myself. But it's, um, and it's when it was done, it's okay. So it's opinion of this particular person, not mine. And it was such a uh, freeing experience. Even it was not my first in intention to uh, to deal with the person, but to just deal with myself. But it will be. Um, it may reflect on relationship as well. We all have such people in our lives. And it's okay. They are our greatest teachers. Greatest teachers. And I have some news for you, some advertisement to tell you. So first of all, that I still doing some uh, free classes, introduction classes about Neurographica on Eventbrite. So if you have any friends who wants to try it, it's on Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So feel free to sign up for them. They are just two hours class and it's, um, I give some and like basic skills and some basic terminology and basic understanding. And we <clears throat> practice uh, one exercise. So two hours is, uh, we actually doing quite well in two hours. And I'm like, I have students from all over the world. I have Denmark, Romania, Ireland, Colorado, New York, all different uh, countries that feel very blessed. So if you know anybody who wants to do it, like, please join me. Uh, and another advertisement is that um, Next month in June, June 1st, me and a friend of mine, Natalia, who is attending this class today, um, 
we are starting a basic level certification class course it's actually a course this will be eight classes and it will be oh not eight it will be eight hours so four classes two hours each on thursday i believe so it will be monday monday we decided monday yes oh okay so it will be monday evenings so if you want to learn more about them there will be some information on my facebook and maybe if i'm not lazy enough i will put it on my website as well some information but that class will be already paid one yes and and it's certified yeah and it's you will receive a certification to uh, to go and learn other levels like there is this levels of neurographica the user level specialist and instructor so right now we're working on user level but this is a re prerequisite for any other classes so if you want to learn more and have more background about it you can go there you're welcome to join us I wanted to ask you guys uh, this week. So how's your energy level? So for some reason, I feel a little bit um, not tired, but energy depleted. So is it um, everyone feeling a little bit slow to like this week? Or is it only me? Yeah, there are like four planets in retrograde. <laughs> oh yes they are and we are coming to the eclipses which will be interesting yeah a lot, a lot of people i talked to felt that way so i'm like today i had a blessing i was sleeping for 12 hours i'm such a creature that can do it and feel <laughs> feel happy about it like i can work very hard for for a week or two but after this like and sleep for a few hours but after this i need to hide in my cave and just sleep as much as i'm allowed so today was one of those blessings so i was very well relaxed and had a recovered my energy batteries So one of these eclipses that are coming, we're expecting three of them. One of them is really happening exactly on my natal Jupiter. And I'm like, okay, something big is coming this year. We'll see. I will let you know. <laughs> I will. I always keep you posted. <laughs> and another good news that I finished uh, 
drawing this uh, cards, neuro graphical cards for boys. And, uh, and I, the only thing I need to do is to write down this notes that inside and I, I love each of them. So I want to show you because you will see how it's really a sim something simple you can do. Only three colors in most of them, sometimes even two. And I just want to show you. Wait, let's see. Clean. Clean so we can see. And each of them are so unique. And some of them are very emotional, like really how you can make beauty out of mess. It's like exactly the story of some of those kids. I feel very connected to each of them. And if anybody would say like, can you pick what you like the most? It would be difficult for me. And the last one. This is yeah. like a yeah, they all different, completely different, and it's interesting. There is always a story behind each of them, like um, so. It's um, I encourage you, like, if you want to uh, to make something for your friends and for your family, or even for yourself, you always can do, and you can charge it with any energy and any emotions you want. Like, if you want to. Uh, like do catharsis and just uh, express your gratitude or express your uh, good wishes it's it's possible you can do it and it uh, will be interesting and it will be unique so it's definitely unique And it gave me an idea, so I um, see if I can implement it. Like if I want to uh, create maybe metaphorical cards, neurographical, because each of them has a very interesting insights. That is, uh, would be, but or maybe somebody who is look, watching this video will do it for me. Well, not for me, but <laughs> just do it so the idea is not wasted. So you can do it yourself. What's metaphoric neurographica? So, like, um, because every time I'm working is uh, in is. Um, there is some insights like emotions, what kind of emotions and how you really can overcome this emotion. So there is always a challenge at the beginning and resolution at the end. So you can just, uh, it's still be uh, on the level of, uh, hmm, I wonder how it can be implemented, but it's, um, you can just uh, express, the journey of even creating this card and it could be emotional and resonates with somebody else it's not about really being smart or it's about really how you can express what was um, your experience because experience is always uh, what treasure the most again what is going on inside of you during the drawing is more important than uh, the drawing itself drawing is just a reflection just um just a picture to remember your experience to be able to return uh, yourself in that state so
Interesting. So this one is actually wants to be bigger. So ex, uh, explore, maybe one of yours wants to be, uh, you want to make bigger circle around it. Like I feel like this wants to grow. Just because I feel like this, I'm like, I really trust my, uh, my desires, my intuition here. I don't analyze it in any way right now. So it's, and I allow it to be like, I want to increase the goodness of this one. And it's quite a very important one actually. Okay, so I'm almost finished rounding and I will show you the next step that you can do it right now or maybe later when you feel enough uh, courage. And the next step. Again, this is ex this exercise is uh, I created it, it's not somebody was teaching me how to do it. So it's, uh, so if you have any suggestions, you let me know because we're still working on it. I still working on it. And I'm like, every time I practice and see how it works on myself and what any, um, any insights are always welcome. I cannot guarantee that I will follow them, but I will listen to them as well. As of oh, sure. Okay, so my next step. Everything seems connected, but now I really want to unite everything. I want to ch use this energy, activate this energy and bring everything together and allow myself to expand. Like from this side, I want to be bigger. I want to be more powerful and more resourceful. So I, and if, if you notice, so most of them, I was able to dissolve this original shapes. Some of them, like when there was a, like straight, um, straight lines, it's usually uh, the hardest, but when it was an unusual uh, shape, it was quite easy to dissolve. So, so now I'm going to integrate everything and expand myself to own this goodness in a positive way, in the most gentle way. So I start from the middle of myself. I start expanding spiral. And I start. You can go any directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. The only way I want you go beyond the paper so go beyond don't limit yourself by the size of the paper you can go as far as you want that this is just a small piece of the universe but not the universe itself your universe your reality and of course we start rounding all this crossing that spiral created so It's interesting, like uh, I, I completely different uh, the way I breathe now, so. And I start having some headaches which is okay. We just keep rounding. A 
it could be uh, the headache is uh, usually the indication when you have so much energy and the flow is um, there is obstacles for the flow of energy so we need to keep rounding to make sure that energy is uh, moving freely energy is um, keep um, keep the flow did nothing really stop it limit it slow down so we want it to be as free as possible but be aware that when you have a lot of energy you need to use it like if you will have a a lot of energy in your body and it's uh, you decided okay i'll just lay down and sleep and read uh, like watch tv all day long or the whole week and don't do anything with this energy energy could be mm, uh, like when it's stuck it could be poisonous so make sure that you use it like create something to do be creative or be active or maybe uh, like uh, activate some things that really start something what you delayed before so use this energy don't don't try to waste it because it's will uh, when it's given to you when you activate it and worked hard to activate it, it's really um, the best solution is if you use it creatively. I, energy and emotions are like water. Like if it's stuck, if it's stagnated, it's become poisonous. So you, I want you to be aware of it. So that if you, asking for a lot of energy make sure that you use it if you want be slow you probably don't really need much energy So next month, so today is which? Today is 22nd. So maybe next week, not month, next week, we will start doing something simpler. So we, we used to do like quite a big themes about soul retrieval and shadow work. So maybe we'll be back and do some more calming, more. Uh, simpler but uh, exercises but, but they can be used every day or more often for you so because you you are not going to do shadow work every every week it's usually one time event or maybe several times event so but it's still the big ones so but it's maybe we'll do some cal uh, i can do several exercises next time so to calm you down like when we how we can use a neurographic to calm down it uh, and find the peace at any moment anywhere you want to be so it could be just helpful so I, I have several exercises in mind that i can share with you simple ones and if you want any other challenging topics 
we can do it as well, but I feel like we want to be a little bit, we need some time to relax a little bit. It's uh, quite the ride we have together. Do you have any questions? No questions. So my spiral is somewhere outside, not in the center. And not in the center? Mm -hmm. How do you feel like place your hand on, on your center of the spiral and see maybe this is your center. Maybe you are a little bit out of your center. How far is it from center? Yeah. Okay, so it's more on the right side. And where you are? This is where I am. I just ah. started there. Mm. So the right side, it's a right side, yes? When you look at it, yes. it's, oh, this is your right side. Yes, it's my right, yes. It's just maybe your focus is right now um, on business, on uh, expressing yourself to the society, or all of this stuff. Yeah. This is a, this is just where the focus is. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just uh, w what is important for you is different now. Yes. And notice, like maybe w one of these uh, resources, and that we find the goodness from all these qualities you like the most what really you um, does any anything attracts you on this drawing what brings your attention what really gives you uh, interest and curiosity how you can or maybe just excitement for me it's um The nothing stuck to the creature, so like nothing really um, can get that I cannot get dirty. This is like really brings my attention to it. It's uh, excitement. Not even the beauty that brings my attention, but this one. This is uh, interesting. Yeah, like this work probably the most lines uh, we've ever did before. So it's like really so much energy. And if you want, you can keep it uh, not colored for some time. If you want to integrate and uh, enjoy as it is uh, but uh, I, originally I wanted to be colored so I wanted to be colorful and color is actually will help you to dissolve the rest of the shapes that we could not do, done with uh, just lines so color is really helps you to create new shapes uh, make sure that 
what is important is uh, more visible and more powerful. So, but this is a option as well. I'm like become very impatient about like, let's finish it. Let's keep moving. They have, uh, I've seen one quote that I still thinking about, but I'm not really agree with this. Um, that if you look always to the sunshine, to the uh, to the light, you never see your shadow. Um, I cannot. There is some wisdom in it, but it's, I think it's um, a little bit avoiding. So I, it's not, because it's not always, um, there is sometimes when there is no light and the light is actually the, uh, the best if you, not just look at the light, but be the light itself. Like when you become a source of a light, you need to make sure that you have your all resources, including your shadow. And I don't know yet how to do it, but I'm I keep thinking about it. How to become the light itself. And what is really the light in within you? So wh what is, um, is it your kindness? Is it your, what do we really identify as light? Because really sun is the light, but sun could be hot, could be ruthless. It's not always kind. I think we have to be careful in terms of always defining the darkness as bad or cruel or negative or something harmful. Mm -hmm. because God is both, or the divine is both, the, the dark and the light we need when you, nighttime, we have night skies. <laughs> so we've lost the divinity of the dark. I think it's better if people name, name cruelty, et cetera, and not call it the dark. I think they're, mm -hmm. I think we're losing the divinity of the dark because we do that nowadays, or for a long time we've been doing that. 
Yeah, it's, um, I agree with you that there is a very, uh, something that we missed in identification of what the darkness and what the evil, because uh, darkness is not evil necessary. It's, uh, it's a different side um, of light, but it's not necessary the, the darkness, uh, the evil. And, but it's a dangerous topic. It's a very, we, um, and I, because I don't know exactly how to express what the darkness it, it is. Uh, when I uh, I familiar with the shamanic practices and in shamanic there is no um, really uh, places like um, heaven and uh, hell. It's uh, there is a lower and upper level and both of them are well developed creatures and energies that are meant to be helping humans so there is a help in both of them and they just serve different purposes and it's um, more connection to the um, nature and human nature as well without judging what is good or what is bad but again this is a very uh, controversial topic because and I I'm not in position who can answer it uh, right now or will ever be having answers to it but it's um, I'm just curious I, I still like really like for last few years I'm uh, thinking what is the darkness and it's uh, there is a Uh, there is a chance, um, not chance, cannot find the right word. Um, let me find the word. So what were some of your favorite quotes that you included on your cards that you're sending the kids? Um, let me see. I did not include any quotes yet. I just made a list. So. Так. You will never always be motivated. You have to learn to be disciplined. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. This is more for myself. I'm not going to include it in cars. I think it's... Tough times don't last, tough people do. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Challenges are what makes life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes them meaningful. Difficult roads always lead to beautiful destinations. Goals may give focus, but dreams give power. Like, and what I found, like, this really 
Chinese proverbs are very interesting and very motivating. And I love the quote, uh, Buddha quote, each morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. And I love this one. A smile is an in inexpensive way to change your looks. This is like one of my favorites. The smile is an expensive way to change your look. So keep smiling. I like I have uh, maybe hundreds of quotes and I need to make sure that like they are not really uh, too moral <laughs> or <laughs> there is a, could be any interpretation because you'll see. The best my uh, judgment uh, of mine is my youngest son. So I always write down what I want to uh, tell kids. And I give him the um, to read it and check, first of all, to check grammar mistakes. And <laughs> secondly, to see that it's not too much mom's quote. So like that he... Uh, he is my uh, really identif uh, he who identifies what is uh, can go for kids and what not. So it's a, usually it's a uh, opposite <laughs> but because I trust his opinion. And like, of course, when he needs help, I, I do help. It's just uh, for be in on the same level with kids, you need kids opinion. So and he's a good kid, so I trust his opinion. He is the only one who, like, he is the one who always complains that I'm not modest enough. <laughs> so his mom is not modest enough. <laughs> because I am not, and it's okay. I don't know what he's thinking about, but um, you are very modest, I'm sorry. I knew you <laughs> for a while. <laughs> And actually, we let, last time we were talking about just like what the modesty is really about. Like, wh how is the, what is the healthy modesty and what is not? What is, a, uh, where does it stop to be a virtue and become a burden? So. So my opinion is that modesty is a fairness, like really how fair uh, you are, like how you can accept the goodness of yours and be proud of it. Or if you're not, how do you allow others to recognize this fairness in you? You have to still recognize it first. Or maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe you just have to be humble and wait till the universe will judge you or grade you. I'm like, I have more questions than answers. Sorry. But I keep asking those questions. Like, I believe that if you don't ask, you will never find the answers. So... Now you will think about it, if you wish.
Okay, my few last corners. I'm almost done. How far you are from your final destination? There was a, a question. Uh, how like, do we really need to round all those corners that created by the drawing? Or is it enough just do a few of them? So the corners create uh, your uh, um, something with my words today like they disappear the corners create emotional re um, re reaction like if you feel that if you like your drawing as it is if you feel that it's enough for you to feel safe and feel uh, emotionally mm, relaxed with your drawing maybe it's enough but uh, don't stop if you feel headache if you feel uncomfortable if you feel resilient about your uh, resistance about your drawing so keep moving be patient and keep moving and keep rounding because this is uh, very important to to reach the the satisfaction like reach the say uh, the state when you are safe with your drawing okay i know what i like the most on my drawing i like this quality that um, it's a quite big one and i start coloring i have my bucket of color pencils anyway like again uh, you can color separate objects or you can color um, just the flow so this one i wanted to make sure that everything is dissolved <clears throat> and i only picked uh, three objects that really important for me and they uh, i accepted them freely but if you want to highlight each circle because they all of them are important for you you can do it and just um, you can combine the flow and shapes so whatever makes you feel satisfied with your um, drawing and maybe you try something new completely new today something unusual so it's always an option okay and maybe i will do so completely different today maybe i highlight the spiral itself and how much energy it gives this will be interesting and objects will be just on top of it just spinning with the spiral so i to create this 3d effect i do some darkness dark inside on on the line and just um, lighter to the rest of the shape it gives me this 3d effect for some reason it's important for me today to create the spiral so try something different something new something unique what is important for you to uh, this drawing Qual uh, maybe it's uh, separate qualities or maybe it's uh, that they everything is uh, belong to you unity could be the priority
So how do you feel? Any? I always love to color, so it uh, really gives me this uh, child. Inner child is very happy about it. And when we were talking about the darkness and the light, and the word I was looking for, now it's coming to me back. So the word is um, temptation. It's really, uh, you need to be very careful how to correctly name it because there is a temptation to, um, to say that the darkness is a goodness as well, but it's, um, uh, be very clear what the, um, what is included in the darkness, what the purpose of the darkness, because if you name evil goodness, it will be, it will bite you back. So I'm not, that's why I'm like, as long as you cannot give correct definition, it's, um, don't give any of them. And when we're talking about this um, symbol, Inyan symbol, or the circle with uh, this one, with, uh, there is always a little bit darkness in the light side, and there is a, always a little bit light in the dark side. So there is always a, a combination of both of them. So what makes everything balanced and moving forward. So it's a, not defining uh, what this, where the separation, but defining where they can be united in a harmonious and safe way for each of us. So this, this is actually my insight for today. How to balance dark side of yours and light side of yours. Uh, thank you, Anna, for pointing that out because uh, I did uh, also had that insight that there is a balance and uh, we can find and reach that balance. Even in, even in the light, there is a balance because if we associate the light with the sun and we get too much light and we are not ready for it, what is the good in the light? Yes, and darkness is always about relaxing. It's uh, about... Um... If we're talking about yin yang uh, symbol, it's uh, light represents male, uh, the energy that moves forward and action and take uh, change things a lot. But uh, darkness is more feminine and it's uh, accepting, adapting, nurturing, and um, Uh, and stay uh, and res uh, preserve something. So it's a, a different goals, and it's a, when only when you balance both of them, you can be um, um, constantly um, active. Like you can always ju uh, juggling with these energies and be uh, safe for yourselves and for others as well. So it's, uh, if you will be acting all the time, there, where will be the rest? Where will be the time to, to think about it, to uh, evaluate goals, to slow down? So there is always should be um, both states in everything. So maybe we'll, it's interesting. Maybe we'll do some class about um, 
balancing how to find the balance in ourselves and what is the balance okay i will write down balancing cross. Uh, one definition that that came to mind when we start talking about the darkness it's uh, and now it's coming again so uh, it is the darkness it's the absence of light but again i don't know how much i agree with that definition um and also i uh, was on a search and i'm still in what goes uh does the light goes to the darkness or the darkness goes to the light how they overlap and this is exactly in that moment in that class i got that there is not one going to another or the absence of other uh, but there is a balance there maybe for every person it's different for every soul the balance is different maybe i'm not posting it and maybe i never asked myself the right questions uh, but just for me now the balance even in my drawing becomes very important not the harmonious but just a balance so thank you so much for giving me that opportunity to observe that you're asking very challenging questions. You're welcome for the, <laughs> for, and thank you for thank you. Uh, sharing because and they are really uh, very interesting. I would, I actually never asked what is coming to, like is it light coming to the darkness or the uh, darkness coming to the light? It's, a, it's about cycle. I, I believe it's about cycle, like what is a, uh, there is a time for the darkness and some time for the light as well so and it's uh, and it's without each of them how can you define like when if you will not define the darkness and the light everything will be just gray and it uh, will not be fun to live in gray it's a black and gray is i think gray is always the worst state gray, gray is a shadow gray is a shadow yeah there is a lot of um, misunderstanding about what you can do in shadow what you can't it's always the the the, uh, the biggest fears are hidden there but today we found our goodness in shadow let's stay positive about it <laughs> i hope we, we did because uh, i feel like i found very important resources in this and just see what you found yours could be different and it's okay so we We have very philosophical class today. Yes, I know. It's like very interesting. That's why I'm like next week, I want to make something lighter and more fun. And maybe each of us prepare a joke. <laughs> because it's a very... Um, difficult topic that we're talking today but it's very important it's like really we cannot underestimate the importance of it and i think that we're living in the time when something is shifting and we need to have a very clear understanding for ourselves where we are and we, what we want to follow uh, but the best way if we can find the light within us so what what is my light because there are so many stories about people 
that we were at some point was light to us and there is so much shadow next to the lamp like in them so it's like the best if we trust uh, following ourselves like what is uh, what is my inner light how i can access it how i feel safe with this or do i don't i feel safe with this so it's a uh, very important to have this inner compass and how we can make sure that it's working or is it really important to make sure that it's working or maybe it's uh, just a leap of faith i don't know Well, just like with the darkness thing where, like, personally, I don't feel like everyone, I think it's better to name. Are you talking about cruelty? What are you talking about as darkness? I think one should also be naming what they think, what they are talking about for the light. Because you may take different actions for, for clarity than you would do for um, wisdom or, you know, so if you bring that clarity to your life, then you can make, I think, better decisions. It's a very good point. That it's not just darkness needs to be defined, but, uh, but the light itself, because there is so much cruelty was happening uh, with the name of god and with the name of the light so it's uh, so it's but i don't want to go there yet today <laughs> there so it's it's a very um very big topic and because i'm just not ready to do it and i'm not sure if it's even need to be done So many people talking about it. Why is there? Um, let's talk. Maybe we change the topic and think about something. Mm. You say Different. about humors. So humors. We need to find. Yes. Yeah, um, light is a, it's fun. Yeah. And, and I forgot all my jokes today. Next time I will be much better prepared. So, but I have a riddle for you. So if you want to answer, this is um, a riddle that was asked um, by Sphinx when the was it uh, Odyssey asked, was asked. Um, okay, so the riddle is, what is walking on four limbs at the morning, three, two limbs at the, during the day and three limbs at evening? Four limbs at the morning, two limbs during the day, four limbs at evening. <laughs> human. Yes, yes, human in his uh, development stage. Yes, correct. It's a good one. Um, do you have any other <laughs> riddles? <laughs> Since we were talking about the darkness, here's a good one. It's always darkest right before what? Before the sunrise. Uh, before it goes pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> you got us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just talking about the shadow a little bit there. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's, uh,
like what's the difference between optimist and pessimist so the optimist is um, pessimist says that it's never can be worse and optimist say like no it could be worse we just not yet there <laughs> we are not there yet <laughs> so it's a little bit dark jokes We are preparing ourselves for eclipses. <laughs> oh, it will be a lot of blue on my one. And blue is always about water element and so it's a uh, could be some grief as well and it could be some wisdom both of them so here's a joke okay how many surrealists can you fit in a refrigerator how many who Surrealist? Sur like surrealist. Surrealist. Like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> surrealist. Like all these examples of surrealists. Like it's mm -hmm. a, it's an artist type of artist. How many surrealists? A banana. <laughs> Why? <laughs> banana? <laughs> they go banana. Weird. I oh, know we'll think because about that. Because our fears, the surrealists were weird. Uh, that's a good one. Okay, so what will be outside what will be outside of my spiral i'm already like making this thing combinations of colors I'm so behind is that me or Anna so fast Anna like, is so fast it's okay so like you will have enough time till morning to finish your drawing <laughs> so there is no reason to rush just make sure that you enjoy the process and i know that like you always like i've seen so many drawings and i am amazed how detailed everyone is becoming and trying different supplies and different techniques one of my students uh, like one of this um, artist who is she is drawing uh, from by lessons like she just uh, using watercolors it's amazing what she's doing with her work so i'm like always impressed looking forward but everybody is so unique and how we really allow ourselves to experiment and try something new and express what was hidden or sleeping our creativity it's uh, inspirational and there is no age limits there is always options to try something i have many people who are retired and decided to try something there is not never too late never too early so We'll see how it's really changing. 
Um, Anna, I have a technical question. Uh, which um, <clears throat> paper do you use to draw on? Do you prefer like the paperweight? What kind of paper? So my favorite, like when I uh, use a notebook, I'll show you which one mm -hmm. I use. So this is the one I use. This is Canson. And uh -huh. it's uh, 65 pounds of uh, the, the heavy weights. And it's 100 pages and I have like several of them. So they sturdy enough. So they still be leaking. So you cannot do it on another side, but they still uh -huh. be good quality. I like I have just recently I ordered another one and I have maybe already five of them done. And for my, like, if you prefer to use the separate pages, I will show you something that I recently purchased. Okay, so this is a huge uh, stack of paper, like 500 pages. Mm -hmm. And it's um, on Amazon, you can buy it for $15. It's like a really mm -hmm. good deal. And it's a... Uh, uh, Pecan Creative Products. It's a <clears throat> mixed me media paper, heavyweight. Okay. It's, uh, and it's a good quality, hard enough. It does not really leak much. Uh, so it's, uh, and it's cheap. It's really it's like, I purchased it on Amazon and it's- uh, Is that number on it? The number is, uh, and it's 500 pages, like 500 sheets. So I can, let me see, I can give you just the link to it. Yes, can you send us the link to both? So like I will just, uh, I will just send it uh, right now in the chat. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and I hope they still have it on stock. I'm like, uh, every time I go to kids, um, I use this paper and if I need smaller size, I just cut it in half. So let me see my orders. Yeah, it's a 1548 for 500 pages. It's like, it's a very good deal. Again, I'm not, I don't have any benefits from advertising it. So, and I'm actually at risk that <laughs> uh, it will be out. Wait, let me make sure I put it to everybody because right now I put it just to one person. Okay, so this is uh, my one of my finds because I tried different paper and it's um, some of them is too thick, some of them too thin, and it's uh, I prefer good quality to work with so you feel comfortable and especially if you want to place it like on a wall. So it's, uh, this is the best I found, like well, price-wise. Of course, if you work with the watercolors, there should be a watercolor paper. So I'm not sure if this one will be such a good one for this. There are so many like really art supplies. I'm like every time we're talking about it. It's uh, so many options, so many details. Like you can use blenders, you can use different brands of pencils. 
I'm kind of stuck with what I have right now. Afraid to try something new because it's usually uh, become um, expensive. <laughs> so I'm just like try to avoid some extra spending because I already spent so much on this. All right, Emma. I don't have any coloring done. I just finished my rounding. <laughs> Good. So it means that you took your time. You respected your time, your pace, and it's okay. We you want to take a look? Let me find you. Let me find you. Wow, you have a very tight uh, spiral. Yeah, it got out of control, really. <laughs> <laughs> So it's that like was really, why it took me so long to round. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, see how you can uh, really, like I still see some of these uh, lines, original lines that could be uh, more dissolved, especially in the corner on the left lower corner, the shape, like, like a star. So you can dissolve them more, but it's uh, you can it's achieve what? this goal. No, 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 uh, opposite. Yes, this one. Yes, this one. So the lines around, like you can bring even more lines from this. Uh, so can start like bringing through? No, no, no. From this, uh, like I'll show you on mine. So if we have this, for example, like like you have this star with a circle. So if you create this lines from this corners of the star okay so you can dissolve and wave it integrate it with uh, everything else it's optional so you can achieve the dissolvance uh, with uh, with color so you may integrate it with color so everything will be seems uh, united so. You can try. So something a little bit more like that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And just around all the corners. But everything else looks good? Everything seems good and like many lines. So good luck Normal. to you to color it. Okay. <laughs> good job. Thanks. very strong and very powerful spiral like really very tight so thank you for showing us your drawing because i had a bit disappointment in my spiral it <laughs> felt very tight as well and i was just gonna ask you can I start over? Can I show you? It yes. feels very tight as well. This is, I'm not nearly done, but I just made. I think it's a, the tight, it means it's just so much concentrated energy you have. And yes, so uh, this, this is how I my, uh, I'm kind of very intense personality but I put a lot of intention in that, yeah, everything. So it's okay. So the okay. intense personality will do intense things. It's okay. So we <laughs> are different and we have different goals. So just keep rounding all the corners so, and it will be Yeah, I have well a lot, integrated. a lot. Yes. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. Goodness. Thank you for mentioning it. Because yes, this this is why I'm always like, uh, sh let's share because it's always interesting uh, how everybody is doing and everybody is uh, different. And just by seeing how different everybody is, it gives you encouragement to to try something new. And And just follow your heart. <sighs> I 
I'm thinking what I want to be outside of my spiral, or is it gonna be just part of the spiral? So when we try to color, make sure that if you uh, color, it's not just a separate segments you're coloring, but you unite uh, big, uh, several uh, segments together. So there is a uni uh, uniting and integration together. So you feel this bigger pictures, the bigger energies are coming together. So it's very important to have this opportunity. to step back and see what is a bigger picture what is a, what is important it's really so much blue today for me which i usually not blue person i'm like Blue is uh, always representing uh, endings. Something should end and there is like in cycles. Uh, I'm talking about Chinese elements philosophy and they use, uh, like they have five elements. Wood, wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Metal is, um, uh, water is the last element in the cycle. So it's uh, usually representing some endings. Something should end, so new should begin. We'll see what's need to be ended. Wow, it's a lot of blue. So a little bit <laughs> too much for my taste. But it's a... I just followed the... And uh, cameras usually don't show the so many details. So it's much better when it's uh, when it's blending like the colors blue and pink, you have this uh, different shadings. But on camera, it just uh, does not really show the, the whole beauty of it. At least not on my cam camera. So we still have about 30 minutes together. Do we have any questions before the class will be over? So do we have all the steps clear to us? And after coloring, we still need to bring this um, uh, field lines, this universal lines to synchronize ourselves with the universe. And it's really like when you have the spiral on your drawings and you are in the middle, 
I have the feeling like the whole universe is spinning around me, that the whole universe gives me, that I am the center of my reality, the center of my attention, which is... Uh, so what's the meaning of the spiral going to the left versus to the right or counterclockwise versus counterclockwise? So there is some meanings, but for this exercise, it really does not uh, important. Usually when you have uh, going clockwise, so you're going on the right, it's uh, more about um, manifesting something in the physical world. If you prefer, and you like in this exercise, I highly encourage you just trust your intuition, trust your body. Where does it want to go? When it goes uh, counterclockwise, uh, it's more about spiritual exploration. So what um, what do you want to? Where do you want to grow spiritually? So both of them could be. Um, important and because at this time so and what's so just trust what what's your body is uh, uh, needing right now what you need right now don't try to force something that does not feel right Again, be gentle. I know that like those are not very gentle exercises, but it's a... So we don't push hard. Like we, we're still stepping out of comfort zone. Definitely we're doing this, but it's... Um, there is a encouragement and forcing are different. So there is a, you, you should be very clear, like, do you really doing something that you um, don't want to? Like, and if you have a, uh, and your body doesn't want to do it, always listen to your body, always listen to your intuition. So, and it's uh, amazing how easily it's become a hobby and how, you become how you start listening to yourself a daily life like you buying uh, food in the store and you see like no for some reason i don't want this bread i want another one because it just doesn't feel right so this is a muscle that you're training intuition Not sure what I want to do with this. So much blue. I'm not sure if I really feel comfortable about it. Let's see what I can do. So this little bit made it brighter. It's a different, not, not usual my, not like my usual drawings, completely different. And I'm curious, like on Wednesday, we will repeat this class, how it will look on Wednesday. 
could be completely new ones, new shapes, new. Okay. I want, I will do something completely unusual. And I will highlight my spiral. It's usually when I have this not disappointment, but like, okay, I, it's not what I expected. I don't really don't know where to move further. The creativity begins. <laughs> like when you have disappointment, well, let's call it disappointment. For what you've done, you start be creative. At least this is what I do. Okay. For you, it's hard to see, but I have this golden spiral now that I blue and gold. And it's I have on size. It's interesting. The the creatures that I'm working with today, it's not a human, it's a snake. And it looks like it's a snake that is uh, really sleeping and waiting. And I hope it's not my kundalini because it's not a it's not a fun ride to awaken your kundalini and why the snake i'm like i'm not even afraid of snakes I'm, i can touch them i can be with them i'm perfectly fine Especially when they are in safe environment, not in wilderness. But today the snake is coming, okay? The snake, is that like the lizard brain? A reptile brain? Mm -hmm. Yes, could be. And it's actually um, activating all your um, stress response as well. So it's actually like in our human body, there is uh, so many things, not many, but some things that really... Um, resonates with reptiles and snakes. Uh, I don't know, so we'll see. I'm will be I'm aware now that uh, like before it was only emotions. Now I aware that uh, my body may start have reactions to it. So, 
I don't know if you see the slides. And what I want, I want to create this new layer of golden lines. I'm like creating new layer of drawing on top of this, like going to completely different level of my integration. Like I created dark background. So now I can bring completely different uh, qualities. And golden is always about healing qualities. Interesting, like I was not aware when I started doing it. Now there is so much meaning to it. Is that the snake symbol of medicine? They use uh, it all the time. It's a different uh, state of snake. It's more like around this, like, and it's usually two snakes, like this and both of them going this opposite to each other and look at each other. I think it's, I, I made too many yeah, but similar, yeah. I started do, uh, to do wood carving too. Uh, and my first goal was to create, to carve this stuff with uh, snakes on it. Or something similar. So something that's like, I've seen one stuff at the store that I really loved, but it was so expensive I could not afford to buy it. So I decided like, okay, maybe I start to carving myself. And I've done so many carvings since, but never did the stuff. I'm like, I always delay, delay, delay. Maybe it's time to do it. really golden and dark blue is um, complement each other so it's um, and it's really like uh, you have to create a very dark background so you can see the beauty of this golden which Makes sense now, but it's uh, when it uh, was just uh, in the middle of the process, it's not obvious. Yeah. Again, about shadows and darkness and light. So the drawing itself is talking to me. Something. So those golden lines that I'm adding, uh, I will consider them as um, field lines. So I, I think it will be enough. For today.
everything that is on the ground does not really important anymore. It's just energy that it's um, an expansion what is important on my drawing for me. Yours could be different and it's uh, beautiful because it's different and it's because it's unique. So see what your drawing is trying to tell you. I'm like, what is the important message that it's giving you? And uh, always uh, on any drawings is usually have the place where there is a, the biggest charge of energy, the biggest emotional charge, em uh, energetical charge, more lines created and your attention is somehow always stopped there. So pay attention. Like if you signed, if you know what, which objects is there, uh, pay attention to this quality. So this is could be very important for you. This is could be very energetically resourceful for you. So just uh, be aware of it. And if you don't know yet how to use it in your life in harmonious way, it's okay, so life will give you the opportunity to use this goodness, not the whole quality, but the goodness of it in your life to maybe to survive, maybe to achieve something. Again, like we, uh, we found what was a positive side of it. And I have an interesting idea, like, uh, is there a shadow that gives the light to the light a shape? Does it really? Because we can see the shadow only because we have the light, only we have the light source. And because we are blocking this light source as well. Oh, it's, I'm coming back to this philosophical discussion. So you can create the light that within you, or you may become translucent, which is a challenge for sure. Mm. Interesting. So how's everybody doing? Overwhelmed by the subject? No, it's just overwhelmed with coloring. <laughs> Good subject, though. That's a, 
yeah try to tell anybody at, at your work that like yes yesterday was like quite a challenging evening i had to color so much <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful challenge in life to be overwhelmed by coloring I'm also noticing that there is that difference in how I was feeling when we started to now, like the, the, the effect of the rounding and the starting to color. So is there any shift in your perception to the person or is it just to the qualities? In acceptance them or at... Um, in your in yourself yeah i think softening in both good they usually comes together so you whatever you're ready to accept in yourself you don't really need to um be so uh against in somebody else and again um you will be amazed that like when Whenever you accept this in yourself, people will be um, changing. Like they will not uh, trying to push those qualities uh, on your on you anymore. So because what's the point to teach you the lessons that you already got your A? Great. So. Let me know if any changes, how we are really, and again, like when you um, don't try to focus like this person uh, or I did this again and again, focus on what you've done differently, where you behave completely uh, unexpectedly and it was a good result so focus on something that is changed so and it will bring you much more joy and much more inspiration to move forward okay my spiral is very interesting I have a golden snake now. <laughs> have you ever seen a golden snake? That's an interesting one. And I really love the quality about the snake that um, that nothing really stuck to them. Like they cannot get dirty. They usually go to the darkest uh, sides and nothing really stuck to them. Like they so, uh, the skin is always clean somehow. I did not know that it was so important for me to make sure that nothing stuck to me. And it's always interesting to see like people, different people will look at the same person and some of these qualities will be the same like if you try to like if you can um, describe one person but some of them will be very unique for you some of them like will be only you notice them and only you get emotional about them so they could be so pay special attention to such qualities I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, my. That's beautiful. Yeah. Looks like a seashell. And it's seashell as well. And it's like all this blue that's around. So it could be anything. It actually could be anything. And that's why um, 
no point to limit. So there's the beginning of my coloring. Oh, you do rainbow. You rainbow. Oh, interesting. It's unusual rainbow. <laughs> it's not in exact order, but I see right? like it's starting yeah. from the green, which is yeah. uh, interesting. So I'm really looking forward to see the uh, like the result. How yeah. you will how the rainbow will unfold itself. I know. Yeah. It is just it, intuitive colors. Yes. Just stay with them. Okay. It just amazed me how different it is from the first drawing I've done completely. Different focus. So. My, I believe my headphones has died, so it's, you may start hearing me differently. So, but I'm still be here. And what I want. I want to create something completely different here. I want to create a circle. So when we bring uh, some metallic colors to our drawings, it's a quite a challenge to integrate them in the drawing. So it requires quite um, quite work to make sure that lines are not foreign to the drawing, that it's uh, still be uh, united with the rest of the... Um, is the composition but for my drawing it seems like it's a just completely different level it's something new that is coming so after something will be completed a new beginning will be presented let's see Again, when you like, uh, there is no expectation how your uh, drawing will look at the end because it's maybe completely different. So you should be very open to the possibility that it will look different. Are you using like a gold gel pen or what kind of pen? Because it's not getting clogged up by your colored pencil, right? No, no, no. It's a it's a gel pen. And like I showed you before, the white that I use, mm -hmm. Mitsubishi pencil. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly the same, just golden Mitsubishi pencil. It's a uh, Uniball Signa. Uniball Signa. And I purchased the set that has white, golden, and silver. Again, 
my favorite store, Amazon.com. <laughs> okay, so this is my shell, snake, whatever it is. I like it. Now I can beautiful. Now so, I can sleep and rest. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Very powerful. We'll see. So I have my insights. I will pay attention to my body, to any endings in my life, in my projects. Maybe I just need to finish some project that still be holding me back. And And there was, uh, even in coloring, there was some uh, development in my emotional state. Like at some point, I was like, okay, it's too much blue. What to do? I'm not really happy about it. So, so I found something new to try on. This is the first time I tried this pen on it. And I like it. Maybe I will add some more circles later. So does anyone want to share yours? We're not finished, sorry. <laughs> so uh, again, so when you, if you want to share, you, you always know how to find me. You can email it to me. We have, uh, with most of you, we can contact through the messenger on Facebook. So, Elka, do you want to share yours? I am trying to find how I should, uh, uh, yeah, I would like to share, but I am just having difficulties with navigating. I was so into the painting. Let me, I'm just afraid not to, to, to get out of Zoom. Let me see how I can bring myself. Back. Yeah, like I see you here, so you can just show it to the, I can see you. Do you, you see me? Yes. yes I don't I see. see. Do you see, guys? Okay. I don't see myself. Oh, but I do love you see how, the yes, I see the spiral. I see uh -huh. many circles. And many uh, circles. Many yeah. circles. Yeah. A <laughs> lot a, of lines. Yeah. A lot of lines. And just keep uh, rounding them. And yep. I love yep. how intense and how, um, how big spiral is. That you really activate <laughs> a lot of energy. Like good yeah. luck, good luck with this. Thank you. Yeah, I look I like a planet it is. <laughs> a pl yeah, I felt that I have to work here until the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully sooner. <laughs> Hopefully sooner. Thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, Anna, I'll uh, go ahead and. Okay. Uh, one up here. Let's see oh, you have the blue too. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went all blue all over the place. Uh, you uh, know what my first impression? It's like a um, lighthouse and there is like waves of the signals, like you signaling to the world something very powerful. So there is, uh, there is such a sensation. Um, I see that you have a many small uh, circles all over the place and it's uh, interesting that uh, the the spiral that you activated is so huge that all the small qualities are so so small compared to the spiral it's like really that um, proportionally you are much bigger than anybody around you and any any qualities that they uh, reflect on you and you reflect on them so it's amazing very interesting thank you thanks interesting can i uh I want to show you oh, yeah. so this one's, this is trish's wow what is this green is growing from? yeah it's exciting <laughs> like something is like really growing something it's uh it's close to the adaptive uh, -huh. uh quality it's that a, it started off with 
Wow. I'm like, I'm curious what will be. Um, and, yeah. and you can always feel free to add what, like, if you really like what is growing, ask yourself, what does it need? What kind of help does it need? How you can nurture it and give it more power and give it more uh, support. Maybe it's uh, some uh, qualities that you can invite and draw as a circle on your next to it or maybe during the growth as well. So oh, thank you for that idea. Yeah. So it's, a, it's an option because like uh, usually we have this very abstract symbols yours is uh, always well defined <laughs> so yeah. and it's interesting how it's um uh, open up itself like it's a presented itself it's not something that made up it's a just like happened and you play with this follow it follow what it's trying to tell you many many lines i love how many like i see everybody has a very intense uh spirals <laughs> everybody right. has so much energy <laughs> activated so i hope we will have a good sleep like make sure. <laughs> <laughs> really good, uh, yeah thank you thanks thanks thank you for sharing it's always ins inspiring like to see uh somebody else drawings does anyone wants to share or are we ready to finish for today So, um, as always, my pleasure to um, to work with you. You are very passionate with my <laughs> big ideas, <laughs> and it's a uh, very uh, love your big ideas. Yeah, um, I hope. Like, please feel free to say some that you are not agree with something, or if you have a completely different ideas, because this discussion is first of all to find the golden middle and see maybe we can benefit each other from uh, from discussion. So, and again, thank you for sharing your drawings and share, sharing your uh, emotions and your experiences. It's a very important for me and I hope it's very important for you as well. So I'll see yeah, you next if, week. If and more people look, looked at their shadow, we'd be better off. It's yes. a, it's a good good thing. Yes, yes. it will be. It will be perfect, beautiful world. <laughs> <laughs> we, we everyone is looking for it. So, but we first of all we start from ourselves. Like it's a yeah. good idea to make sure that everybody has um, beautiful shadows and uh, beautiful souls. But nothing will start if we don't start from ourselves. So. This is the idea starts here and from yourself, not from somebody else. So thank you for being um, this first ones. We are not first ones, but we are uh, on this journey together and it's very powerful. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, thank this, you. Thank you want to see in the world. Thank you for Catherine for sharing this quote. It's like really a very big <laughs> The Thank you, Anna. We need to do a gallery day. Mm -hmm. So everyone put the pictures. <laughs> yes. yes, yeah. Maybe uh, when the uh, this social distance will be over, uh, I hope we will share all this drawing and, and see. And uh, what I encourage you to look at your drawings from the beginning, like from when you've done first one, like maybe months ago or two months to ago you will see how much it's changed how much you've changed and how much your um, the drawings has changed drawings are just representing what has changed inside of you and it's very encouraging and it's very inspirational again um, all the information about the courses that i'm teaching you can find on my face you will find on my Facebook, it's not there yet, but it will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask me directly. Have a great night and see you next time. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.